What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Regrowth. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, yeah, kind of had a derp there. <laughs> uh, we were looking at trying to get gold so we can make casts for our smeltery. By the way, these two blocks right here, this is what I used to do a screenshot. That's why those are there. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we were trying to get gold to make casts for our smeltery. And as you guys have pointed out to me in the comments over in our chest over here, we had a golden chest plate and some gold. Yes. So we should have like 15 pieces of gold or something like that when we smelt this all down. Completely space the fact that I had gotten that gold and the gold chest plate out of the nether fortress. Yep, forgot about that. So anyway, I think we're going to put this on hold for a moment. See, a lot of the things we're doing right now is based on the fact that we got to the nether before we're quote unquote technically supposed to. Uh, we did this pretty much all with vanilla means. It's not like we were using mods and exploiting things and cheating things in. Uh, we're just playing the game and I know how to do certain things, but yeah, progressing into the nether this early is probably what we're not supposed to be doing and getting the smeltery and all this stuff based on that is not what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, we should probably start looking at these quests and doing these in the way that they're supposed to be done. <laughs> uh, it might make things a little bit easier for us. So anyway, we did this Atlas quest last time and we didn't actually claim this reward. So that's going to give us 16 experience drops and four empty maps. That's also going to unlock a quest elsewhere is what I saw. We'll go and claim that. Uh, I'm not seeing anything in here that is changed. So it might have unlocked something in this first section. It might have unlocked something and I don't know, however, whatever section else. Uh, so yeah, the next quest in this one, this is where we made our infusion stone. Uh, we want Cuprius con Conduction. It's a repeatable quest every two days. So this is a way that we can get Essence of Copper multiple times. I was wondering how we're going to get the Essence, since the Essence is used to make the seeds. And I was like, well, how do you get the Essence if the Essence makes the seeds? Yeah, this is how we do it. So we need to get Floral Orange Powder. We need 16 of those. I can't remember how many orange flowers we have. I haven't even looked. We have... Uh, three. So that's not going to be enough. So we need to take some of the, the stuff. Um, where is it? Yeah. The floral fertilizer. We need to spam this on the ground over here so we can get more of those Batania flowers. Hopefully we'll get enough of the orange ones. So we can put the orange flowers in our thing. We'll get mortar or I'm sorry. We'll get the, the petals and we can take the petals and put those in the mortar and pestle and get the powder. Yeah, that's what we're going to end up doing. Also, I have some bees in my inventory, or I guess a bee. It's a noble meadows princess. Yeah, there's a beehive over there by our smeltery. And since we're able to make string, I made myself a scoop. Uh, these are made from just wool and some sticks. So yeah, I used a scoop to break the hive. We got the bee and a comb. And then we're running out of space, so that's why I got a lot of this other random stuff in my inventory. But anyway, let me try and get that orange stuff, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, I ended up getting a whole lot of the Batania flowers. We got a bunch in here now. We have four of the mystical orange flowers remaining, and I got eight more in my inventory. We need a total of 16 of the powder. I think that's what we're going to end up with here. So there is 16 of the mystical orange petals. I made myself the pestle and mortar, which is a bowl stick in a plank, and the bowl is made with just some slabs. So it's not super expensive, pretty easy to do, and we get three bowls remaining, which I have no idea what we're going to do with. Where are my petals? They were missing for some reason. All right, so here we go. There's our floral orange powder. And then we have four of the weak essence and 16 clay. That should do everything that we need. Uh, Manual Smith. Yep, and that's gonna give us an essence of copper. So let's claim that reward. Cool. Didn't mean to throw that on the ground. We have our first little bit of essence. So the uses for this uh, if we have eight of those, we can turn it into six copper ore, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can use that plus 10 plus coal and some weak essence, iron and dye to make the regular infusion stone. Uh, okay. So we're going to need essence of iron to make iron seeds. We're going to need three more of those to make copper seeds. And then I guess we can make gold seeds eventually a little bit higher in the tiers here. So that's pretty cool. So now that that's done, oh, that unlocked a few things, didn't it? All right. So it looks like 10, or I'm sorry, iron is our next one. So it wants some red sand, some floral gray powder, and some weak essence, and that'll give us an essence of iron. Okay. You know what? I don't think we read this quest, did we? 
This says, maybe you'll find some traces of copper amongst the fragments of clay you've dug up. So yeah, we did find a little bit. And then this one says, there seems to be small amounts of iron left in a few bits of sand you found. Maybe you can extract it and imbue it into the weak essence you've created, question mark. All right, so we need 16 red sand. Um, that's gray powder. I think we had, we should have gray flowers in here. That's light gray. Let's just search for gray. Oh yeah. Okay, so we need eight of those and it's just the same exact process. And I think it was uh, four of the essence again. Let's double check. No, eight of the weak essence. There we go. And then 16 red sand. I think we have that already mined up. No, we only have 13. Oh, dang it. All right, so we need to go steal a little bit of red sand from somewhere. Where are we going to steal it from? We can steal it from, like, under the water, I guess. Although we mine kind of slow underwater, don't we? So what is that, 15? There's 16. Okay, cool. So we got that taken care of. Right, so then we can take the flowers like that. There's the petals. There's the pestle and mortar. There's the stuff that did the thing. And we can submit that. Nice. So that's going to give us the essence of iron. Let's claim that reward. Very cool. We are making some pretty good progress here. So if we continue on with these quests. Uh, oh, that's unlocked. Stanic sen sentimentality. Okay, I don't I don't know that word. Uh, so we need 16 slate. I have no idea how you can make slate. Do I have to silk touch that stuff? So if we try and look at the recipe for slate. Oh, the flint can be turned back into it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, we need floral light gray powder. I know we had some light gray flowers in here, but I don't know how many we had. I don't think, yeah, we don't have enough. So I'm going to have to spam some more of uh, the floral fertilizer around. Uh, and we need 12 weak essence. This is getting more and more expensive as we go on. And then we also have this one down here. I guess it's going to make coal, essence of coal. So we need charcoal, black powder, and then six of the essence. I guess we can do this one. I think we have plenty of the black. Oh, we have exactly enough of the black. All right, so let's do this, that, one of these, one of those. There's that. What was the other bit that we needed? 16 charcoal. Do we have charcoal? We do. All right, so let's just go ahead and grab 16 of those. Nice. Saddle can stay in there. Submit that. Claim it. Cool. So now we still need to do the same thing with um, the floral gray powder, light gray powder. Let me go ahead and spam some more bone meal, or I guess the floral fertilizer. Yeah, we'll try and get those going, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So we should have everything together for this final quest here. Let's go ahead and manually submit that. There we go. We guess since floral light gray powder, slate. You know, with all these different powders that we're doing, it makes me think that I should start doing the agricraft stuff so we can get to these mystical white, or I guess the mystical flower seeds. Um, yeah, we'd have to go through all the different, like, vanilla seeds, I think. Well, I guess the vanilla flower seeds, anyway. Um, to get to this point, it's going to take a little bit of mutations and all this stuff. I think we might be able to do it, especially now that we have, like, uh, technically unlimited bone meal. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but yeah, we'd start off with like getting the dandelion. I can't remember if we already did the dandelion or not. I know we did some of those at some point. I think we did anyway. Let me check down here in this chest. This, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the dandelion down here. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm probably gonna want to get through all of those so we can get to these different seas and we can get the petals this way without having to use the floral fertilizer, which is kind of annoying to do. So anyway, uh, back to the quest. Uh, we claim this, and... Oh, no, 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 we didn't claim this. Let's claim the reward. Okay, so we got all of this done. So this is saying requires one of two quests be completed elsewhere. This one, this one, this one. I wonder if it's this one that we need to do. This says it unlocks two quests elsewhere. And in order to make the regular infusion stone, we need... Uh, tin, copper, coal some kind of a dye essence and the iron. So we have all of these except for this dye essence and to get dye seeds. Oh man, this is quite the thing. We need essence seed plus all of these different ones. And I guess we can make all of these from the floral fertilizer. Now it's looking like it has to be black, 
red, green, <laughs> brown, I guess that's blue. Yeah, all of these different ones. And then uh, bone meal in the runic altar. We have not made a runic altar yet. We should probably look at making one of those. I don't know how these are made in this mod pack. Okay, so it's a mana pearl or a mana diamond. Both of which are kind of expensive on the mana side. What we probably could do at this point, uh, get these endo flames going again. We haven't had these running for a minute. Well, actually, I think it might be better. I was going to do like four blocks of charcoal, but we don't have that much, do we? We have enough for two. Why is that garden stuff? I wonder why they overwrote. Oh, maybe you can't do a normal block of charcoal. Maybe I'm thinking block of coal for vanilla. Um, I guess we could do two coal and two charcoal blocks. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not, but <laughs> that'll allow us to get those endo flames going that much longer, right? Okay, so we'll do this and this. And those are the same burn time, I think. Anyway, we'll put those back in here. Let's get these endo flames down. We want to make a decent amount of mana, so we'll get... These back like we had them before. We'll put two of those down. Those should be sucked up by two of those. And then two of those down should be sucked up by the other two. There we go. All right, so now we should be making a decent amount of mana for a decent amount of time. We should probably look at getting a little bit more charcoal cooked up. Yeah, we should probably get some more charcoal cooked up so we can do some more mana and keep all that stuff going. That's probably what I'm going to work on here right now. Uh, let's do a stack of that plus I guess eight charcoal should make 64 total. Let's get this going. Not there. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. So we got that cooking up. That should go for a little while. Um, so we'll probably be working on this one. I don't know if there's any other quests that we should be doing right now. Let me go and take a moment. I'll go through the quest book, see what else we can get going at this point, And we'll be right back guys. All right, guys. Well, I decided to bite the bullet. I'm in the process of trying to get all of the different mystical petal seeds. And what did we get right here? Mystical blue flower. Okay, so that just uh, that just mutated. That's awesome. Yeah, I went through all of the different magical seeds that we have. Uh, so the ones that require other flowers to make it, that's what I've done. So I've made like the daisy seeds and these white tulip seeds, and we got the mystical white flower. I just keep clicking along here until we got to another one that required those. So we made the orange. We already have the dandelions, so then we got yellow. I kept going along like this, over, over, over. And the next one on our list, I guess, would be the blue one. That's what we just made right here, right? Blue? Yeah, blue one. Okay, so we got that done. And then I think the next one will probably be the black. Nope, we got red. Okay, so I need the red tulip plus poppy to do that. And then black will need cactus plus blue. Okay, so we'll get that done too. Uh, so yeah, and since these flowers do mutate, like... They, they can self mutate into the next thing over. Uh, <laughs> if this does turn into an alum seed or a blue orchid right here, I will check it and then I'll replace the parent with the better seed if it is better. Yeah. And then, so we're kind of, you know, getting the better seeds as we go that way as well. So that's pretty awesome that we ended up getting this blue one. I, yeah. Like I said, we got the yellow one. We got some of the white ones. Those spread a couple of times before I caught it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so I guess the next one, like I said, was the red ones. So we need the red tulip plus the poppy. So there's poppy. Do I even have a red tulip seed? I might not have a red tulip, actually. No. Okay, so we're going to have to make the red tulip. And that is made from the alum and the poppy. Oh, so that's easy enough. So that's just one mutation. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. Like that. One of you. This one. That one. Done. Bone meal them up. Yeah, it's pretty quick to do this. Then you just crossbreed them like so and wait. Simple enough. All right, so I'm going to keep at this. We're going to try and get, uh, well, I guess all of the base seeds. And then I think the different ones can be bred from like the other ones that you get. So yeah, we'll have the yellow and we're going to be making the red. Then we can get orange that way. And I think the, uh, the lime green comes from green plus white. Yeah, that's how that works. So anyway, once we get the, the base ones, we'll be able to do the other ones. And then yeah, we'll get black and then I'll do the green and the light green. Cool. So anyway, let me keep at it. We'll be back, guys. Whew, that was a lot of crossbreeding, guys. So yeah, we got some stuff done here. This is pretty awesome. Uh, so we got the red, the blue, the black, the white, and the yellow. And I believe we can make all the other colors from these ones. So that is pretty good. 
So I'm going to stop here and I'll do the rest of it at another time. Uh, but I was looking at the quest book. We have 10 quests with unclaimed rewards now. That is crazy. So if we go here, the way the world works. Uh, yeah, I made the runic altar, by the way. Uh, I made myself a mana diamond and I've been, man, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I was chopping down jungle trees. We have like, up, we're up to 26 jungle saplings now. I was doing that so we could do the two by two trees all the way up. And then I made myself a lumber axe. I don't know if I talked about this before, but yeah, I have a lumber axe in here that I've just been repairing with cobblestone, uh, chopping down the trees. Then I've been smelting <laughs> the wood into charcoal. Uh, yeah, we got a few stacks here. I think I had like four or five more stacks. I've been turning the charcoal into blocks and I've been putting it over here on those end of flames and then the end of flames have been filling up our mana pool. I made myself another mana spreader that can take from the mana pool and put it into our runic altar. Yeah. And doing this seems to have unlocked more quests too. So anyway, let's go ahead and claim the reward for this. That's going to give us uh, two mana pearls and 12 floral fertilizer. That seems pretty good. Uh, we should probably read the quest too. It says the next thing you're aware that uh, Botanist employee is a device called a runic altar. This altar is not for worship or sacrifice, however. Rather, it's for crafting with mana. All right. So that just gave us a little bit of reputation. Two mana pearls and 12 of the floral fertilizer. And this wants us to make a clay flower. We'll look at this in a minute. Uh, so it seems like that quest, as soon as I did it, unlocked all these other ones. Those ones that said we needed... Uh, one quest elsewhere. Yeah. So this is going to unlock a bunch of quests. So does this one, that one. It's pretty cool. Uh, we still need to make these die seeds and all this stuff. We'll look at this in a minute. Uh, we have a bunch of other quests that we have completed now because of all those flowers that I just got done breeding. Yeah, check this all out. So we got the poppy seed, which is going to give us four poppies. Uh, these quests, they just tell you how to mutate the flowers. I was just looking in the eye. Uh, so we're going to get four blue orchids. We're going to get four alum, uh, four pink tulips. Click it. Oh, I have to have that in my inventory. Interesting. Manual detect on the pink tulip. Uh, oh, maybe I didn't do this one yet. Okay. Maybe I haven't done that one yet. Uh, we can do this one. Yeah, these are all done. These are the base ones. I didn't know there was a quest for those specific ones. Apparently there was. So we'll claim this reward. Uh, it says, muting some of the various flowers you've cultivated seems to result in them forming crops which grow the mystical petals you've otherwise had to use floral fertilizer to obtain. Right. So this quest is for exactly what I was trying to avoid having to do. Uh, we can just use these now to get the, the petals. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we didn't do the green and we haven't done the purple or the pink, I don't think. Uh, let's go ahead and do the daisy seeds. That'll give us four oxide daisies. Uh, the white tulip seeds are going to give us four white tulips. And the orange tulip seed quest is going to give us four orange tulips. Awesome. Now I have a few more of these done, but it's not showing here. I wonder like if this one, uh, will show the black seeds or whatever. I don't know. We'll get to it at some point. Uh, we also have the red tulip ones that I skipped over. Apparently we got four red tulips and then I had to breed cactus to go with the, the blue mystical flower to make the black one. And that's going to give us eight regular vanilla cacti. So that's awesome. Cool. So now we got all those quests done. I saw that it unlocked this section over here. This is a lot of spawn eggs. So apparently we're going to be able to make those or something along these lines. So I'm curious, is this going to make, or is this, is there a crafting recipe for eggs? It wants us to get 16 of them. Uh, which came first? Feathers can be a very useful resource and eggs might just be the basis. You need to bring back other forms of life. Next stop, chickens. So I never, I didn't look at this. I assume we can craft these somehow. Oh yeah, check that out. So if we do pasture seed, mandrake, uh, a couple of the runes from Batania and seeds, we can get a stack of eggs. That is pretty awesome. Uh, if we have the leperine bees, we can also get those from that. Okay, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, also, we could take a look at these other ones, what the world is made of. So now these quests are available for us to do. Uh, so probably iron is going to be one that we're going to want to do pretty early. And yeah, in order to make iron seeds, let's just double check these again. So in order to do the iron seed... Okay, so we need the essence. So in order to get these essence, we have to do those repeatable quests. Okay, so that's going to take a minute to do. So that's 
uh, how we're going to get all this stuff. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they were just going to give us all the essence or the seed or something like that, and then we could make more seeds later. But I guess that makes sense if there's these repeatable quests that we have to continually do, uh, and then we can take that essence and then turn it into a seed using the runic altar. Uh, wasn't there one of these that was pretty easy? Was it the die seed, maybe? Yeah, okay, so this is the one that uses all these different things. You know, I don't think we have any brown die. Well, we have the brown flowers. I was thinking, since we can use the other dyes, we don't have that. We do have some cactus green and this. You know what? Let's go ahead and get this thing set up. So we need essence seeds. I believe we have some of those, right? We turned those into 10, 10, 10s. Uh, essence seeds. Okay, so we got one of those. And we have a lot of different... <laughs> flowers here that we can turn into the different dyes. We should probably try and put all these away that we can. Oh man, so many things. I did set up another chest up here with all the other dyes, the actual dye dyes up here. So we might start turning some of these flowers into that kind of stuff just to save room. Because yeah, I can't fit everything into our flower chest. It's not enough room for all this stuff. Okay, well let me go ahead and get everything set up on this runic altar and we will look at crafting something. Be right back. All right, guys. Well, I forgot if you put everything on there and you already have a mana spreader pointed at this thing, it just starts crafting immediately as soon as you put that last ingredient on there. So you can see that it was drawing some power from our mana pool uh, using the mana spreader and shooting it over to our runic altar. Uh, it didn't take too long. Mm -hmm. And we got all of our different dyes here kind of floating around showing us the recipe that we're using. So at this point, now that we got the lightning shooting off of this thing, what we need to do is go and grab ourselves one... Uh, well, we need to get ourselves our wand of the forest for one. We also need to get ourselves one of these living rocks like so. Then we can just go ahead and cue the living rock right on top of there. I believe we shift right click the runic altar. There we go. And there is some dye seeds. Awesome. So now we got this done. I think that fulfills another quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this fulfills our dye seeds quest. That's going to give us two essence of dye and three weak essence, which is awesome. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Pick one reward. It doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, probably the essence. It, yeah, it doesn't really matter because once we get those seeds, we can just grow them and then get all the dye we want, especially if we get them to the 10, 10, 10 stage. We'll have all of the dye. So yeah, I think that's probably going to be pretty good. Cool. So that is our first runic altar craft. Um, what else was there that we needed to do here? So now that we got those dices, I think there was something else that was going to allow us to do. Uh, was, it, was it the coal seeds? There was one of these that we just needed the die for, I believe. Or maybe it was... Hmm. I can't remember. Was it the copper? Or do we still need a bunch of the essence for that? Yeah, I can't remember. One of those needed the die seed essence, and I can't remember... Exactly off the top of my head, which one that was could have been the iron Or maybe I'm thinking of something completely different. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing some of these repeatable quests uh, Yeah, we should also look at making that. Okay. Yeah, actually, let's do this. Let's make that clay flower that This wanted us to make which one was it? I can't remember what the world embraces what the world enables what the world teaches, one of these. <laughs> nope. Uh, this one. What The way the world works. Ah, yeah. Clay for days. So this wanted us to submit 12 clay and a mystical light gray flower. Actually, 10 of mystical light gray flowers. I don't know if we have 10 of those. Um, Do we even have one? Where did all my mystical light gray flowers go? Maybe I used them all. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and try and find some mystical light gray flowers. We'll probably use the floral fertilizer to get on that. We might have to bone meal the grass to get some more floral fertilizer. I'll work on this. We'll be right back, guys. Well, I ended up spamming the rest of the floral fertilizer on the grass here. We ended up with exactly 10 of the light gray flowers, so that's awesome. So we have everything we need. Let's go and manually submit this thing um, so we can claim the reward. So I was looking at this flower. I wasn't quite sure how this works. So apparently this thing draws some mana from a nearby mana pool and then it turns nearby sand into clay. It moistens the sand. I don't know like how fast it works or anything like that. Uh, I guess we can just place some sand right like this. We'll place the flower down. 
Oh, okay. So it does that. I was thinking it was turning the sand directly into the blocks of sand. I'm sorry, the blocks of clay. But no, it turns it into a clay ball. So it probably makes more sense. Especially since we have the scuba gear. It makes more sense just to go out into the water and look for clay. I saw there was a little bit more clay around this island. And just going around into the different sections, we should be able to find more clay or whatever. This way, which, yeah, there's clay right here. Boom. That's a lot easier than setting up that flower, in my opinion. But eventually it will run out. Now, I was also looking... Uh, let's get away from the nether portal. I was also looking. There is another way to make... Uh, I think it was another way to make clay. Or maybe I'm thinking a way to make sand. Uh, I don't even see clay. There it is. So if I do a recipe on this, yeah, we can make 32 clay at a time. If we had the essence of earth and essence of water and the water, we need the water seeds, which is water, rune of water, regular essence, and then magic or yeah, the essence seeds. So we should be able to get to this pretty soon. So this is probably how we're going to be making our clay in the future. Uh, the Batania way, while that's cool, it's not really practical, especially since I have to go farm the sand anyway. We're not going to worry about that. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and put that on hold. So, yeah, guys, we got a lot of good stuff done today. I've done a lot of the flower crossbreeding. We busted out a ridiculous amount of quests, which is great. And, yeah, a lot of the agricraft stuff is out of the picture. We don't have to worry about that anymore. So, yeah, we're making great progress in this pack. Now, I was talking about we're going to set up a base over there on the main island. And people are saying in the comments that I shouldn't set it up over there. That I should set it up in the ocean because the, the grass and the water look way better. We might look at doing that. I think I got a pretty cool idea for a base design. Or at least a layout of <laughs> what the base is going to look like. So we might look at doing that sometime soon. We still have to get ourselves a bunch of resources. And I think not until we can get the earth ones. So we can you know make blocks and things like that very easily. Are we going to actually start setting up on the water. Especially since we have to build a big old platform. If that makes sense. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.